Shallow Howl, directed by the Fairly Brothers, came out in November 1 of 2001. And the movie stars Jack Black playing Hal, who, when he was young, his dying father told him that he he should go after he should go after women for their looks. Hot young till his father says. That's what it's all about. He says. He makes Hal promise to date only beautiful women, and to be to be aware of falling in love. And that was the tragic. That was the tragic mistake he said he claimed with his mom. And so shall so Hal grows up to not not being able to have meaningful relationships because. Obviously, he's just only going for women for their looks, not for their attitude, personality, anything like that. And he meets Tony Robbins, who brainwashes him into seeing beautiful people. Not exactly beautiful people. He he starts to see. Um, regular people, or uh, or quote unquote ugly people, as beautiful, because he's he's seeing what's on the what's on the inside. For example, when he starts to look at the ugly women at the club, he sees them as these hot women, and I'm not sure if the movie. I think the movie could have handled that a little better because he, Jack Black, even though he's going after people that have good personalities now after Tony Robbins brainwashes him, he's still mainly like going for them because they're hot and beautiful. And the movie has a lot of, the movie's really funny and really moving. It has a lot of characters like Mauricio from Seinfeld it has Gwyneth Paltrow playing Rosemary the 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 eventual woman that Hal gets with and falls in love with and it has this it has this guy Rene Kirby who plays Walt and he's like this deformed disabled guy and uh, I think the movie does a good job with the acting, I think everyone is putting their a a for effort here. Jack Black as Hal is really funny, and uh, he's really moving. He he he's not a bad person. You can tell because even after he does get brain he after his brainwash wears off, he starts to bump into the people that he th- he thought were beautiful but when he realizes they're not appealing to look at he's obviously taken aback a bit but he's also understanding and he has a better understanding of what people can really be like so instead of freaking out which he does freak out but instead of like blowing them off or just not wanting to talk to them he he tries to condone condone them and still talk to them there's a beautiful scene in the movie with one of the one of the ch- one of the children from the ho- the children hospital one of the burned victims and hell is taken aback and he's trying to process what he's looking at and uh, he's trying to recognize who that is after his encounter with Katrina or one of the girls that he met earlier instead of running away and uh, doing something like abhorrent he walks up to the little girl tells her she's beautiful he's he's condoning her and uh, he's being sweet to her Oh, hi, Cadence. How are you, beautiful? How come you haven't come back to see us? Um, 
Well, me and Rosemary have been uh, having some problems. I, uh, I was really stupid. Oh, well, why don't you go buy her a present and then maybe you can make up? And Hal has a good character progression in this movie. There's a lot of character development. Mauricio, his friend, played by Jason Alexander. I really, you, like, he's probably like the worst part of the movie. Just because he's so out there and like, he hates Hal for finally finding love, I guess, and... He go he he begs Tony Robbins to take the brainwash out and he's really a selfish character. And I don't think he really ever changes after that, but um but and the, the movie ends with his the movie literally ends with a tail with a shot of his tail which is a terrible way to end the movie, but that's just a few seconds of this whole movie. Gwyneth Paltrow plays Rosemary Shanahan, and she does a really good job in the movie. She um, she's taken aback by Jack Black's compliments at first because he doesn't believe anyone would find her like beautiful because she's her character is obese, and eventually she succumbs to the compliments, and. Uh, after falling in love with Hal, she she kind of walks on eggshells because she doesn't know if the relationship she's with Hal is real or not. And her parents are um this they're they're suspicious. They have their suspicions, but eventually grow to like Hal. And even, even, even Rosemary has like a character arc of like feeling better about herself. And Gwyneth Paltrow has been really talkative about how she, she hated this role and she doesn't look fondly back at it, which I understand to a degree, but and there's a there's a few outdated jokes in this movie which don't really hold up but other than that this movie is a really good movie and i would recommend watching it i would give this movie three out of five stars it's not a perfect movie but it's definitely a good time and if you ever have time, I'd say check it out. And that's it for this video.